Ultra Wideband is one of the future key RF technologies. In the Pegwoman project, we have explored simple solutions for low cost, low power ultra wideband transceivers for short range, low and medium data rate applications. This view graph shows an overview of the demonstrator specifications. The LDR ultra wideband radio shown here is using a fully digital transmitter and a receiver based upon energy diction. For practical reasons, the transmitter and receiver have been realized at lower frequency. To be more precise, at 1.32 gigahertz. In this way, a transmitter and receiver based upon off-the-shelf components could be realized. This LDR communication system does not require any pulse synchronization in the receiver. Performance tests using pseudo-random uh, sequences have been performed in order to evaluate the radio performance in terms of bit error rate. Next, a real-world application has been implemented on the ultra-wideband radio. The application is the transmission of a still image recorded by the camera unit shown here. This camera takes an image and sends it out to the baseband of the transmitter. The transmitter baseband unit puts the video data into frames and passes it on to the ultra-wideband transmitter. The receiver demodulates the ultra-wideband signal and passes it on to the receiver baseband unit. After deframing, the video data is sent to a PC for visualization. During the laboratory trials, it was found that interference from a local GSM base station limits the range that can be covered by the ultra-wideband radio. Insertion of a bandpass filter attenuating a GSM signal greatly increased the radio system's performance. The Pegwoman project was partially funded by the European Commission. We would like to thank the Commission for their support on the ultra-wideband research activities.